Hi Lana, welcome once again to Lana's Coach. We want to understand how to replace your lost KCC or KCP certificate. So if you are in Kenya, I believe you understand the value of this particular certificate that you're talking about. Ideally, if you miss one of them, chances are you might not even get uh, to proceed with your further education, maybe to the tertiary uh, level. You cannot even get employed. If you want to go to study abroad, you might miss your chances. I mean, this uh, these key certificates are very, very important, especially the KCSC one, right? And that's why it's very important uh, to understand how you can be able to replace it. Uh, maybe a while ago, we didn't have uh, an option of how we could replace it. But nowadays, the government of Kenya, uh, through some act, have managed to put uh, in a way that you can always replace this particular uh, KCC or other KCP certificates. So I want us to maybe uh, go through this particular process step by step. Uh, in the end, I'll show you the neck, uh, neck portal, the one that you should be able to uh, log in, and maybe what are some of the requirements that you need to fulfill uh, for you to be able to uh, successfully replace your certificate. So we are going to see how to log into the portal and maybe uh, look at the key uh, requirements that you need to have and of course you need to fill in the details <coughs> and upload those particular required documents that you're going to uh, mention now those documents are very very important now it comes with a fee so you can't just uh, replace it it's not a free process so you have to pay uh, for some amount uh, which you are going to uh, look at so these are the key things that you, these are the key processes or things that you need to do uh, for you to successfully uh, get your KCAC or KCP uh, certificate. So number one, as I mentioned, you have to proceed to the NEC website. You will download those particular replacement forms, right? And then of course you're going to fill them. Uh, it gives you an option to upload the same. And of course, if you can go physically to uh, this particular uh, archives, NEC archives and records offices, you can also take those particular documents. And as you can see, <clears throat> you need to fill that particular form, right? Uh, we have the soft copy, the one that you can fill online. Of course, the one that you can download, right? So there, these are some of the documents. Of course, I've just listed a few, but I'll still go into details about them. So you need to have either a copy of your certificate, result slip, letter of completion, affidavit, right? We're going to mention all of them and the other thing as i'd mentioned is the payment process fee right now uh, kindly uh this particular amount that i've placed here is a bit uh, of course it keeps on changing so by the time i was creating this video it was at five thousand eight hundred uh, which you are to be able to pay uh, into this particular accounts i'm made to understand that uh, nowadays you can even do this through mpesa and that is via the e-citizen so if you like get the update, I'll just uh, put it within the uh, the comment section so that at least you get to understand what to do. Uh, better still, I will update this particular information within our website. So I'll share the link there so that you keep on checking in case there's some changes so that you are well informed. So kindly check on the link uh, below. Maybe I've not placed it, but I'll place it so that at least you get to uh, be updated. The other one is wait, uh, wait for the paper. Uh, after you've done the paperwork, you need to give it some 60 working days uh, to acquire these particular new do documents from the NEC offices. Ideally, when you are acquiring them, you have to go there physically, and uh, I'll show you how to go about it, right? You have to present yourself there physically. You need to produce your your national id card right and of course as you wait please log into the neck query system the management information system online i'll show you how to go about it and monitor uh maybe the progress of this particular uh, replacement right so what are the key documents that are required for replacement first you need to have affidavit for loss of certificate you need to go to a lawyer they'll sign for you an affidavit uh and of course that one is a required uh document and of course a copy of your certificates or results slip and you can see here only kcp results slip from 2013 are accepted so anything beyond 
that is not accepted you also need to have a recommendation uh, addressed to the ceo of the neck from either the head teacher sub county director of education or county director of education right for private candidates also obtain a police abstract indicating laws of certificate very very important right and of course it's very also important to have a letter of recommendation from employer to neck where applicable because you realize that at some point you are working and they might maybe want to maybe promote you to a different uh, position so the employer needs to create some uh, recommendation uh, to showcase why you need to replace your uh, your document the other document is your national id or a passport right so you need to have your national id for minors original birth certificate will be required which is accompanied the original id for a parent or a guardian because you realize at some point people normally finish the high school maybe at 16 years or 17. <laughs> some of us we finish <laughs> i think i finished mine uh, at, uh, when i was 19 years old but some of you finish them uh, very early right so you need to have an original birth certificate now uh, of course original confirmation from the register of persons on the identity of the applicant number nine also you need to have uh, if you have changed your status of course even your name we see people change things in, in between so you have to go and obtain a gazette notice and then you also need one color passport size uh, photo of the applicant right so those are the key documents that you'll require for you to successfully replace what your kcp or your kcc certificate so having said that i want us to proceed to the neck portal and maybe get more information as to what you are required to do but if you're around and you still find this particular video useful kindly take a second or two uh, so that you be part of this particular uh, community and also don't forget to uh, like this particular a video so let's go to the portal all right as you can see i am within the uh, neck portal and of course i've just gone straight to the frequently asked questions these are the questions that people really ask right and the question that we want to sort out is uh this one Right. I have lost my KCP or KCC examination certificate. Can I have it replaced? So this is one of the most asked questions within this particular portal. So they're telling us you may apply for a certificate, a certification letter, right? So you may apply for the certification letter. So kindly visit our website at this and proceed to the downloads and follow the instruction for applying for the certification uh, letter right so this particular certification letter is very important right so let's just go to the uh, this same portal of course they have told us we go to the download section here right so these are some of the supplements or supplementary information that is very very important uh, when you want to replace your certificate so when you go to the downloads you click on the downloads here and you'll see they have categories of examinations they have the kp kepsi kepsa the care of KCC teachers so just click on the KCC section because I believe this is where we have this particular so here it is uh, let's just scroll down uh, examination okay these so these are guidelines these are just additional information kindly be guided uh, these are guidelines that contain requirements for individuals who have lost their certificates right so what i've been talking about right uh these are the guidelines so maybe let me just let me just click on the view guideline but you can as well download this right so you can see these particular guidelines right let me just uh, uh let me just increase the view so that you can be able to see all right i believe you can be able to see so this is a guideline examination results certification letter so you can see what they are saying here uh applicants are expected to apply online for certification letter through the uh, query management system which i've already mentioned and they are saying the kenya national examination council started implementing this policy of issues of certificate examination results letter from february 
2018 so if you have done your kinec exam and have lost or damaged uh, for those who have damaged or lost their certificate right so you can see the key documents uh, that are required i've already mentioned them so i won't really repeat and as i mentioned you can see the details of fees now this is for the certification you can see it varies and also they have a unique number that they always give you within the platform once you register on the platform right and you can see these are very important information further information right so the examination results certification will be issued uh, uh okay the examination results certificate later once issued is not replaceable of course they say they're saying the processing of examination results certification letter takes 15 working days right of course these are some of the uh, information that you need to know let me just check on the second page so you you need to prove that your certificate is was lost we have already seen that and of course these ones we have already uh, we have already mentioned so these are just some additional uh information that you require right good so i think that is uh, enough guideline uh, to enable you uh, proceed with your quest for replacing this particular vital uh, certificate that most of us uh, require right so should you find as i've always mentioned this particular uh, information useful always join us in this community so that you can share related information about making our learning smooth as we talk also about the various marketable courses and what you need to know as far as education in Kenya is concerned. Alright, thanks.